Good morning, good morning everyone. Today I'm about to make for the first time un budín de guayaba. I saw it on Oiga Tañón's official. I saw her video, her live video. She made a budín de guayaba. I have my guayaba here cut up in pieces. I got my five eggs. I have condensed, um, yes, condensed milk. I have my coconut milk. I have um, evaporated milk. I have coconut, coconut milk. I have the vanilla. These are all the ingredients that she puts. She put in her budín de guayaba. Now, for those that don't know English, estoy haciendo un budín de guayaba. Lo vi en la página de Oiga Tañón Official. Aquí tengo las guayaba cortadas. Aquí tengo los cinco huevos. Aquí tengo la leche condensada. Aquí tengo el coco. Aquí tengo dos potes de leche evaporada. Y tengo aquí leche de coco. Ella le echa cuatro diferentes leches. Y aquí tengo mi vainilla. Y aquí tengo el pan. Mis manos están limpias. My hands are clean. So I'm going to start, you know, mushing up the bread. Estoy haciendo un budín de guayaba. Lo vi en la página de Olga Tañón Oficial. Y me encantó. Y como mañana, la hija mía y su novio cumplen seis años de aniversario. En vez de comprarle un bizcocho, voy a hacer un budín de guayaba. Esto lo voy a hacer la primera vez. Since tomorrow is my daughter's six years anniversary, um, instead of buying a cake, I said, why not make a budín of guayaba? I never made this before, my first time. So here we go. I'm going to start processing. My hands are washed. I'm going to start with the la leche evaporada, evaporated milk. I'm going to put it in here so the, the bread could soak up. Um, she said one can, but you could also put two cans. So I bought two cans. I put butter. She put um, spray, but I didn't have the spray, so butter's the same thing. So I got it right here, ready. Okay, let me see. Let's see how it comes out. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add the coconut milk, leche de coco, un poquito a la vez. Para que así el pan se ponga la primera vez que hago esto lo vi en la página de Oiga Tañón oficial lo vi ayer so yo dije como nunca lo he hecho lo voy a intentar this is the first time I'm making budín of guayaba first time so I'm just mushing it up. Let me see. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a little bit of condensed milk. I'm gonna add a little bit of everything for now, so the bread could.
I don't own the rights of the music behind me. See, it's coming out. See? <laughs> yeah, tomorrow my daughter Carmen and her fiance Juan, um, they'll be together six years. Tomorrow is six years anniversary. And instead of buying a cake, I said, why not try this? Un budín de guayaba. Aquí tengo la guayaba. I have the guayaba right here, cut in pieces. I'm putting in the rest of the condensed milk. I don't own the right of the music behind me. Oh, it's doing pretty good. I'm gonna put half of the other um, evaporated milk. I love to try different things. This recipe that I saw it in um, Olga Tainon official. Okay, I'm gonna add, oh, let me finish adding this. You see, I made, um, I made boot booting before, red pudding, but I never made it with the milk. So this is new to me. I always did with the water. With the water and then I add whatever else, you know, I need to add. But these are three different kind of milk, so you don't even need no sugar because the guayaba has sugar and all those milks. It's coming out pretty good. Let me just put this over there, this over there. Sorry guys, I just wanted to put that. Now I'm gonna add the vanilla, okay? Um, she said, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Well, she eyeboy it, you know, so I'm gonna put a uh, tablespoon. Le voy a poner una cuchara de vainilla. Eh, le pongo un poquito más. Okay. Ahora le voy a echar los cinco huevos. I'm going to put the five eggs now. See, I never made it with eggs either. But it doesn't hurt to try, right? Okay. Okay, ahora le voy a echar la guayaba. 
I'm gonna put the guayaba now, little pieces, and I'm gonna reserve some so I could put it on top before put it in the oven. Estoy haciendo un budín de guayaba. Lo vi en la página de Oiga Tañón Oficial. Dios quiera que me quede bien. No sé qué hice, pero está como un poquito, it's a little wet, but let's see, maybe once I put it in the oven. como me quedó está un poquito ahora lo pongo aquí en el base sí um, y el pan ella dijo que le ponga ella le puso una libra y media de pan yo solamente le puse creo que una libra una libra decía el papel de onza Pero no, yo creo que no llega a una libra por eso que me quedó un poquito mojado